Hi guys, so I've got a poly hamster at the moment. Um, Moonbeam has got either an infection or heart disease. Um, so we're not quite sure. So we're fighting it with both things at the moment. So she's on heart meds and she's on medicine to help with infection. Try and help clear her lungs. So I've been advised by the vets to try a nebulizer. So <laughs> I have seen friends use a nebulizer with their hamster, but I never knew what it was for or how you used it. So this video is going to be all about that because I was thrown in at the deep end and I thought, surely this is going to help somebody else in the future <laughs> and not be so stressed like I was. So first off, I bought the cheapest nebulizer I could find on Amazon. I think this is about £37. And then you'll need a chamber. So a couple of ideas that you can use for a chamber. You could use a travel carrier and then put a plastic bag around it and then put try and put the nebulizer through it. Also you could maybe cover it with a towel or something. Anything just to stop the vapour seeping out. So there's that option. Um, the option that I went for, purely because I had it, was this bin cage. Um, bin cage, it's not really, it's just a bit of plastic bin. Um, I had used it in the past actually, it's an emergency trip to the vets and I'd drilled holes. Don't advise this on a regular basis, but it was an emergency. <clears throat> so I drilled holes in the top and I tried to drill holes in the side. So I was left with this hole which had cracked and was really bad. So I got my wood burner thing that I've got and I just um, did it in a well ventilated area. I just melted the area, the circle off and it's got a bit of a crack as well. And then I just put tape on the rest. And then how it works is you have your nebulizer, you put your medicine in there and you put the lid on and then this here, here goes through the hole and where's it gone? Oh yeah, and on this one it's got this little funnel thing so and I could just clip that on the other side and then you put your lid on well actually put your little animal inside <laughs> put the lid on and switch it on so basically that's how it works but because I was worried about moon being stressing out I start with I put a little towel in the bottom and a little hide and I scattered a bit of food and a little bit of bedding but Moonbeam 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 decided to try and tear this up and then she tried to pick the hide up so I took that out <laughs> and I'm going to put some more bedding in and some more food when I have to do it again with her. I will say but I did read things online that said not to use bedding or towels because it'll soak up the vapour but I just thought oh god that's got to be minimal surely um, and I would rather Moonbeam not be so stressed out having to be contained in this box. That's basically it, that's all, all you need. Yeah good luck if anybody else ever has to go through this. And wish me luck with Moonbeam bless her. I just thought I'd share what I did in the future. So I put bedding along the bottom with a plastic hide and then once the treatment had finished I used to just leave the lid off so to make sure that the bedding was totally dry and wasn't going to go mouldy or anything with damp from the vapour. Um, this seemed to work quite well with her. Also I found that if I did the treatment when she was still sleepy so I was doing it about half an hour to an hour before she would normally get up and that way she would just fall back to sleep and not get stressed out. I did it one night when she got up at 11 o'clock at night, her normal getting up time, and she was just trying to get out of the box, and it was just too stressful for both of us involved, so I just thought it was easier to just wake her up a little bit earlier than her normal getting up time, and that seemed to work. She would just curl up and go back to sleep, and she could breathe in the vapours while she was sleeping. 
and I am happy to say that with all the treatment that we are doing, Moonbeam has, her breathing has improved, but it hasn't got be 100% better. So I'm not sure how much longer I've got with her, but I'm just going to enjoy the time I've got with her. And sadly, I think, so she's not too stressed out, I'm not going to move her into the new cage that I've been building, um, which I'm quite upset about, but it is what it is. And I think it's better to just leave her safe and secure in her own home because she's already getting disruptive with all the medicine that she's having to take. So I don't normally do videos like this showing my hamsters when they're poorly, but hopefully it can help somebody else. And that is why I've shown it this time. So thanks for watching.